What is up my friends and welcome to today's video. So as you can see, I'm just chilling on my yoga bow pillow. If y'all want to see what a yoga bow pillow is, I will show you. It's this big bean bag pillow. And yes, I'm in a present onesie. But yes, it's a big bean bag pillow that I am resting on for this video. So this is just a very chillax vibe video, just kind of chilling here, talking with you all. And, um, if the camera is a little shaky, that's because I'm holding it and my hand shake a little bit. You know, we could hold it like this, but that's a little bit uncomfortable for you probably. I mean, I could talk to you and stare into your soul, but that's okay. So we'll hold it. Oof, look at that candle behind me. Can I zoom in? No, I can't zoom in. That's okay, but there's a candle. Christmas lights, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so today's video, I thought, I thought, I'm gonna share something with you. I decided, hmm, what's something to share? Because I felt like sharing. And I was thinking, what's something that not a lot of people know about me? And some, then that's something that people might be surprised to learn. I thought that would be interesting to share with you. And maybe it would encourage people to also share things about themselves with others. Because, so there's reason. There's a reason why I'm doing this. I like to hear myself talk. But no, there's an actual reason. I think it's good. I know it's good to share things about yourself with people that give them a different perspective of you because people in their own heads think they know you and they have perceptions of you and sometimes there are things about you and about your experience of life that don't go along with their picture of you and I think sometimes it's good for people to know these things so that they realize oh she's not exactly the cookie cutter version that I thought she was or she's not I don't have her or him completely all figured out and I don't know so yes I do so um yeah I think it's also I want to encourage people just to talk just to share about themselves in general it feels good and sometimes you want to be mysterious I know and you want people to not have you all figured out but sometimes you can get a sense of relief from sharing something with people and don't just say well I used to bite my nails when I was younger. That's not helpful sharing. That's not something that's going to help you feel better. There's no point to that really usually. But maybe if you said, I used to bite my nails because I had really bad anxiety. And then you went on to say why you had really bad anxiety. Then it's a whole story that people are really interested to hear about. And might have some therapeutic relief for you to tell. So I'm going to share a little something about myself. Um, so, I'm kind of a people person. For those who you know me, I'm more outgoing. I do like my alone time, but I'm more outgoing. I'm, I'm, I like people. I tend to talk to people. But what I want to share with you guys, and not many people know about me, is from about the age of 15 to 17, I hated people. I wanted a career that had as little to do with human interaction as possible. That's part of the reason why I almost became an engineer because I didn't want to deal with people. I wanted just to sit on my computer, do my work, and have as little interaction with the human race as I could. And I know engineers do have interaction with people, but sometimes you can get jobs that have very little interaction. And that's what I wanted. I I wanted to work by myself. I hated everybody. I was judgmental, cynical, skeptical. Ooh, yeah, I didn't like people. Now, there's a reason for that. And that's kind of where the therapeutic process for me comes in, why I'm sharing. Because there's a reason why I didn't like people. I was super depressed. I, um, I was lonely depressed and I part of my coping mechanism was to push everybody away that's very common 
and to push everybody away, I convinced and I convinced myself that I didn't like them. And that was my excuse for pushing them away because I don't like people. At least that's what I thought. And so I, I pushed them away. I didn't want to deal with them. I didn't have the patience. I didn't care. I didn't have the compassion in my heart to care about other people. And since then, I have grown in compassion. And thanks to a dear friend of mine, actually, that helped me grow in compassion. And I just going, I don't know, it just really helped me. Going to college actually helped, and actually my sister told me that once I went to college it would help, and it did. It did help. Um, I got to meet different people. I got to, I got to be, I got more chances to be outgoing once I wanted to be. At first I wasn't, and I didn't want to talk to anybody, but once I decided I want to try being more outgoing, college gave me the opportunity to do so, if that makes sense. So it's not like college cured me. But college gave me more opportunities to practice my compassion and outgoingness and talkativeness and bubbliness. So that was, that's nice. But yeah, once I realized other people have problems, other people need help, everyone has feelings, and we're all struggling here, and uh, people need kindness, I... That helped me to like people more, and now I want a job that deals with people. I think that's pretty cool. I completely turned around. Completely turned around. From hating everybody to wanting to help people. And I'm really glad. That's a good change. That's a good change, in my opinion. Now, if you want a job that doesn't deal with people because you're shy or something, that's fine. That's totally fine. But I don't want you to hate people. I was doing it because I didn't like people, not because I was shy. If you're shy, that's fine. Okay, you, if you're shy, you don't want a job dealing with a lot of people, and that makes good sense. So that's my video for today. In the comments below, please share with me something that not many people know about you. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic. You don't have to talk about your past drug history. I, you don't have to do that. Something small that maybe just not a lot of people know about you. See how it feels to share. Please comment, like, subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!